Today we're gonna to be talking about how Joe was able to go from selling sneakers at his house to now having his own warehouse. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, because that helps the algorithm oh so much. And today, we gotta to talk about this dough. I'm excited to hear your story, bro. So, so talk to me about where it all first started. All right, so Supreme, when I first found out about it, I saw these Fox logo hoodies hidden for like, seven eight hundred dollars seeing all these crazy resale prices mm -hmm. so of course that caught my eye you know? right the hoodie couldn't be that expensive there had to be some sort of profit there so okay found out about that didn't quite flip those six seven hundred dollar box logos but i did make some good side money flipping 50 60 dollar t-shirts you know something when i was 16 at the time that was big for me so, so right you saw some more year first step, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, sophomore year got some money coming okay in. okay each week on the supreme drops i just keep taking the money i made the week before putting into the new drop i would make sure to sell it on ebay a day right after the drop camp and like literally 15 minutes after i had to have my listing up so you was on it so it was sold by right. first period you know okay gone okay. um and then you get to you get to maybe like a year or so into it and you see more sneaker world and you're understanding that a little bit kind of dabbling in yeah, how, how yeah. did that kind of transition i went from just going for the supreme drops every thursday because that's the only time they released their product mm -hmm. uh, doing that and then the off season i would flip the used stuff um like the used box logo hoodies make a little bit of money on the side gotcha. and from there i started flipping some more hype shoes i guess i did some trades with supreme stuff i was like okay might as well you know mm -hmm. this off-white shoe has some money in it like the supreme shirt does so figuring out what has money to it from there a few people had wanted to sell stuff to me and found out a couple platforms that was really easy to do and i was like okay i'll give this a shot gotcha. um, and from there yeah one turned to ten ten turned to hundred you know how it is after that right so when you first started getting those kicks like you're saying one ten ten to a hundred all those things where was it at or like this is my goal or i need to get to this point to be able to get that first purchase of you know 50 pairs of shoes out because i remember i bought 87 pairs of shoes for my first boat deal and i'll never forget that day yeah because i was like this was the one and yeah. it was like a lot of terrible stuff and it, but there was some good stuff in there too. Of course. But for me, I was just so happy about that day. So how was it, like, how did you do that to get to that point? So my goal has never really been to like beat someone else or like hit a certain number, but it was really just to like sell more shoes than I did the month before. Right. It's as simple as that, you know. As long as I'm beating my last month and I'm seeing some sort of progress, like that's, make a, it good, worth that's it. a good sign. So, gotcha. My, my goal has always been that and yeah, just keep pushing from there. So, so you're selling sneakers for a year or two years mm -hmm. and then you ran into the concept of bots and different things like that. So typically a lot of people would have people go out, camp for them, hit up a bunch of homies, try to get the plug, bringing in all these different pairs of shoes to be able to pick up 20 pairs of shoes on a release or something like that. And then it became this new wave, this new era because when I first started, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it wasn't that option. That was never option. It wasn't online sales, it was a lot of camping out, and there, that just wasn't a thing. Yeah. So when you when you ran into that, what were you scared about it? Were you like, didn't know who to talk to about it? How did you kind of find where to go? When I first got into bots, um, I joined something called a cook group. Um, okay. Which is like a group, it's a paid, it's a paid Discord. I was paying someone twenty dollars a month to just like kind of talk about like bots and like familiarize myself with like online buying shoes for retail mm -hmm, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. First got into that, and I was just doing Supreme still at the time as well. Okay. So this is kind of in that same that one two year frame. I was still I was doing Supreme stuff um, every Thursday, botting that site, mm -hmm. getting a few items more than I was able to like buy myself just on the website. So I saw that, and then. Of course, Supreme only has the three months of selling the product, so after right. that, I gotta figure out something to do. Right, know? right, right. So naturally, shoes shift with that, and then I started botting shoes, and then as I got more money from selling the shoes, I would keep dumping all my money in to get more and more pairs each Right, time. right, so. And uh, the profits. And then you have your own kind of group coming now and everything like that. Talk about that for a quick sec. Yeah, so I run a group called West Notify. Okay. Um, which is a group kind of like the one when I first joined where we teach you how to use the bots, but this is a more evolved cooker, cook group. So it's not anything like when I first joined it two, three years ago, they've gotten a lot better mm -hmm. as has mine. Um, and we s sit down and teach you one-on-one -on -one 
go onto your computer, show you exactly how to set up the bot for success so you can hopefully have luck at hitting all these pairs like you gotcha. So it's definitely, if somebody was interested in that, they could get in touch with you, which we'll have a link down below, different things like that, yep. to try to take that next step into getting into botting and growing of course. and doing those type of things. So when it comes to scaling your group of people that you're teaching and then scaling your bots to purchase more, is it having the amount of money to just purchase more or is it the advanced bot that you're using or what is it when it comes to that? And then do you have like, we only use 100 people, we're only gonna have 100 people in our team or you know, how is it gonna grow? With bots, yes, a big part of it is capital and the money you have. Okay. Um, it's also definitely be able to use the software to the most advantage. Um, but the way like I sell shoes, I'm more risky so I'm, totally willing to dump literally all of my money into the shoe because I have enough trust right. that that shoe's gonna flip and it's right. gonna make me a dollar or Makes something. Sense. I'm not gonna go home with an L. Mm -hmm. So I've got that confidence, one in the shoe, and then also have like the right bots and the right software because I'm constantly around similar people that do this. So we share ideas, we share what bots are working, and then those people even run their bots on my credit card. So They'll help me get the pairs like that. It's a big gotcha. team, a big family, gotcha. and that's gotcha. kind of what the group is all about. Makes sense. Makes sense. You you have the confidence now, right? But when you first got into that first bot deal, when you first did those first couple transactions or releases, what was your mindset? How did you actually feel? Because I know there's a lot of people that are very interested that want to take that first step, but they just don't even know what to feel because they've never felt that feeling of like, is this a scam? What's gonna go on? Like, right. am I gonna get my shoe? Right. Like, you right. know? So what, what were you thinking in in that moment before that first purchase came through and then after that satisfaction? Bots kind of have like a negative stigma to them, you know, as it's kind of like a touchy, touche subject. Right. Of like, is it like illegal or like, like what's wrong with it? Um, and really it's like, it's gotten to the point where like only bots can like eat on certain websites like there's right. like there's just no way like a regular person like us could go on our <laughs> computer and try yes. to buy it because the bots have taken over so. right so it's almost like maybe people should just start playing that same game and getting bots as well like yeah because it's just like it's kind of if you don't join them you're not going to be right like, there's and it's almost like that new evolution where yeah, it could you potentially step be on that the train way. right right and that's like for me i'm like in that point where it's like i'm not against it I'm not for it. I don't know. I'm just like, it's kind of a mystery. I, I just That's like shoes. Is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm yeah, a sneaker yeah. collector. Like, sure. so I've always been a collector first. And then, you know, obviously I hustled to build my collection, to build my net worth, all those things. But it was essentially for my collection. So I'm still in the in between. I don't know how I feel about it. I can't say it's right. I can't say it's wrong. All I know is if you're getting your dough and you're hustling and you're doing it right, you're doing your thing. Like, I can't be mad at it. I can't knock the hustle yep. at all. Yep. So, it's been a tough time right now. There's been a lot of stuff going on. People have been getting their packages extremely late. You got issues with, like, a shoe comes out, it goes to StockX, but then it's like, I didn't get my package for two weeks. Were you able to still create success during this crazy time, these past three, four months right now? What were you able to do to still create that success? Fortunately, like, shoes are one of, like, the one business that, like, really have like thrived more than anything like through covid so yeah. Yeah. a lot of people have um because we were in quarantine for a long time so a mm -hmm. lot of people have just disposable income and then checks and where's that money going to right. unemployment checks all that kind of stuff is yeah. flowing through people aren't used to having this kind of money so it's going right to shoes um and thankfully for us like we've stayed afloat and done better than mm -hmm. ever really so is there For like a short a, bit of time like the stores are all closed so everything was releasing on online so it was even that much easier right, to buy it right. because like all the stock is online so it's exactly. all for us even more so. that makes sense that makes sense so yeah. what is your uh what is your plan for attack when hopefully everything gets back to normal do you think that there will be a slow or maybe a minor decline and then finding a new way to get money again or is things just gonna stay like this for a long time? Because a lot of people are saying there's just too much money in the market right now. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's only gonna last for a certain amount of time. Just, the documentary made all these Jordans go up in value. All these different factors. What do you think about that? Because I've been thinking a lot about 2021, 2022. What's gonna happen? My whole look on like the whole sneaker bubble thing is it's like 
of course more people are getting it and more people are selling shoes but like more people are also buying shoes too so mm -hmm. it's just as long as they both kind of stay on the same upwards path like we should be fine yeah. everything's still gonna be money and shoes and people are still interested in them as far as i see i don't see it going away anytime soon gotcha right? okay so you've done all this stuff building this business and this brand and everything around it like I said, I'm a collector first, and you're kind of more mindset around the sneakers and the values and flipping and hustling and everything. So when it comes to your actual sneaker collection, where are you at? I noticed that a lot of people that have warehouses and different stuff, they're like, all I need is 20 bangers or 30 pairs or whatever. Yeah. And they kind of just cap it and it stay there. Yeah, so I guess you could say that to me too. I mean, I, I got like 20, 30 pairs of shoes, like, which is still definitely like a lot more than the regular person has. Right. But I don't have like, every single shoe by any means mm -hmm. i mean like these are like my dailies runners like that i got a few cool jordan ones and like tom sacks prestos that kind of stuff okay so you're doing a lot of like new release stuff when it comes to the buyouts for sneaker collections and like older stuff and everything like that yeah is that something you plan on branching more into or is it just mainly focus on a lot of the newer, hotter stuff. We just trying to tackle everything. So I'm trying to get as many new releases as I can. I'm trying to buy out as many of this. I'm trying to just put my feet into everything. Like whatever, Okay. whatever we can hustle, like we're, we're gonna be there. So you'd rather put something on consignment than take it in and do consignment through your own business? Yeah, yeah. So down the road, who knows where we are and maybe we'll take in consignment. But for now, like, unless you've got like a really special sample shoe or something, there's just, doesn't really make sense right. to consign right now. I get that, I get that. Yeah. Okay, so I got a couple questions too. What is like the craziest hit that you didn't have like with the bots where you didn't got a bunch of pairs and you're like, how did I do this? This really worked. Yeah, so before Kobe passed RIP Kobe, I got like just over 200 pairs of the undefeated Kobe's. Oh yeah. Which now, at the, now they're hidden hidden, but at the time, like right after the release, they they were still doing decent numbers yep. and like that was really impressive that was all my own stuff one bot That's did it all, yeah. all shipped which uh which colorway did you get i got all four colorways oh so really I got the pack and i still have the basketball hoops back there that's fire that one. that's fire yeah yeah and then what was the one that you just like literally just got so many pairs you're like bro i've never bought this many pairs of shoes off a of bot before a month or two ago we just got we had like 18, 1900 pairs of the Concord 11 um, Lowe's. Oh, yeah. The okay. bread Lowe's. Yeah, okay. those we just, I don't know, they just made them a big GR, but they still sold. So, you're like, had no problem. Moved them all <laughs> to one person. Almost 2,000 on pairs of shoes. Yep. Just off of one release. One, one drop. That's crazy. And then you talk about selling to other people. So, you're more in selling in the bulk. I say, like, if you post something on IG, you're like, 10 minimum, 100 minimum, whatever always, it may be. Always, yeah. It's always that. So, just makes it easier on us, because I mean, as you can see, like we got a lot of shoes in here, we can't afford to sell one by one to right. every individual so, uh, client. So, for us, like it's always been about like as many pairs as we can sell, so uh -huh. I, my Instagram tends to cater to just like people who are looking for bulk shoes and like gotcha. looking to make a dollar on my deal. Gotcha. Like, gotcha. Right. gotcha. So if somebody wants to do the same exact thing as you and go out here and cop a bunch of pairs of shoes, do all these same things and learn from you, how much is it gonna cost for them to join you, come underneath your wing and learn everything you know and flourish too? So for the group, um, we start at $50 a month. Okay. And that's our West Notify group that teaches you all the bot stuff, one-on-one -on -one with the people who hit, some people hit more pairs than me in our group. So you're getting taught by literally the best people in the community so gotcha. there's no other spot to learn so it's like a monthly subscription yeah. you pay 50 bucks yeah we you get teach you everything give you free giveaways each month all Dope. sorts of stuff in there tons of stuff check out the instagram it's got everything you need now. definitely okay so we'll make sure we have that link down below if you're interested in that honestly that's low-key a pretty good deal like 50 bucks a month it's not bad level of entry yourself, like you're investing yourself <laughs> That's really good, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. like one flip and you're good. Like you already made your money back. So I think that's gonna do it. Thank you for having us. If you guys haven't seen the first video, make sure you go check that one out. If you like this one, don't forget to hit the like button. And again, check out all the links down below in the description to get any information or any notification or whatever it is that you may need coming from this side over here. Because I'm telling you right now, 
They up to something, they up to something real good. I can't tell you where the spot is at, but I can tell you, we might be back. We might have to do something up in here again. There's so many shoes coming up in here, in and out, each and every day, every other week, whatever you want to call it. So much stuff. So we got something for you. Thanks for having us. You got any final Thank words? Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my name is DJ. I'm signing out. I got to go. I'm gone. Peace. There we go. I didn't do the, I didn't do the sign, but... <laughs>